Hey guys, how you going? Just doing my little bit of uh, answering questions here on the old 90 series that I put a post up on Instagram for. Just bought my first 90 series. Best bang for buck or best overall mods? Best bang for buck? Hard question. Depends what you want to do with it really. Like, If you're looking at doing um, touring stuff, set of drawers for sure. Um, and a fridge. Uh, what else could I recommend? Really, best bang for buck. You don't need a bull bar for touring. I'd probably go a snorkel. Um, just cleaner air into the engine, especially on dirty, dusty roads. Um, you're not sucking crap up into your air filter. Um, yeah, that's probably what I would recommend. That and a UHF, just in case you get into trouble. So you really need. You can get away with an esky for a few days or whatever. So. Um, in standard form they perform really well. Doing for your 90 series. Why did I choose a 90? Yeah, I bought a 90 because I wanted to go fishing. So yeah, I went to look around a few car yards, just a four wheel drives. Never owned a four wheel drive before. And that's what I decided to pick up, was a 90 series. Um, need a whole heap of work. Um, as you saw, I got to the, uh, the point of having it pretty well um, restored mechanically. And uh, and then the inevitable happened, unfortunately. But that's why I chose an only series. Wheel and tire specs, and did they scrub when flexing? So they were 285 75-16s on a 16 by 0 offset PDW steel wheel, which is like a Sun Razor. Um, they didn't scrub when flexing because I had the supporting mods to stop that from happening. Uh, with the suspension, I ran extended bump stops and the shocks limited as well um tips for fuel economy mine is thirsty as run some fuel treatment through your car um i used to use interject uh what was it interject i can't remember the part number now interject is a brand um it was in a green bottle 420p is a diesel can't remember what the petrol was but yes interject was the brand um, you could probably run just about anything in it really Get some high strength, just to give it a good clean. Change your fuel filter, change your air filter, give it a good service. Run a snorkel, put a better flowing exhaust on it, and you shouldn't have an issue. Any regretful mods? Not really. I built it all for a purpose. The long range tank was a great mod. Highly recommend that for anyone, if you, especially if you're touring. If you're doing tough tracks off road, I wouldn't bother about it. No, nothing I regret. I did do the wholesale automatic transmissions nomad valve body and torque converter lockup kit prior to my trip and i never even got to test it um, so that was two grand down the drain so i guess you could probably say that um that there would be the one mod i do regret and uh and that's it guys so that's all the questions i got thanks for hanging around um hope you guys stick around the channel for when i build the 80 series and that'll be great until then guys, have a good one and I'll catch you next time.